Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is David the Nerd, and welcome back to the first of what hopefully will be many Euro Truck Simulator 2 mod reviews. Today we're here with the Volvo FM Classic 2009 edit by MJ Tem Dark. This original mod was by AU44, this is the MJ Tem Dark edition of the mod, you see it's FM13 Globetrotter here. Let's go ahead and uh, check out the customization, we've only got one cabin option, uh, just sort of the lower Globetrotter cabin. You've got a lot of chassis options here, typical before the heavy cargo update. Uh, you have a 4x2, the 6x2 with the drive axle, you get the 6x2 with the mid-lift drive axle, the tag lift 6x2, uh, and the 6x4. We're going to go with the 6x4 for this review. We've got a couple different engine options. We've got some hybrid engines and some Euro 5 engines. So, we've got the 330 horsepower uh, with 1600 uh, Nm of, of torque coming in at at the uh, mid RPMs, as with all of these engines. We've got the 370 horsepower, 420, the 460, and the 500 horsepower. And they go up incrementally in torque, but you're going to get the same amount of torque around 1050 to 1400 RPM. So we're going to go with the 500. And you've just got two transmissions, these I-shifts, uh, both 12 speed, same gear ratios, just one with a retarder, one without. So, we'll go with the retarder. Now, we've got four interiors we can choose from. We've got the exclusive, which uh, looks something like this. It's got this beige, orange, gray, sort of uh, tritone look to it. And then we've got the sleeper, which is, I think, looks the best. Uh, and that's just got uh, black all around and this bright orange steering wheel. And you've just got UK versions of both of those. And then it looks like the exclusive does also have the uh, GPS screen there. So. Uh, color options, pretty basic. Just uh, basic different colors and stuff. And then it does have um, the compatibility for the metallic colors DLC. So we'll just make like a metallic red one here. Open that up. So there's our metallic red. So for customization, there isn't a whole lot. You've got all the default bull bars that fit on here. So we're just going to throw on the samurai bar. Or actually, no, we'll, we'll not go with any. So, then we've got the stock and the stock long frontal mirrors. Um, just one sun visor that can be removed and put back on. And you can also remove this globe trotter to have a window up there, but I'm going to keep it there. And you've got plastic and painted mirrors, as would be typical. And plastic paint and chrome door handles will make ours painted. Up here you've got your variety of light bars that you'd expect on any truck. You have a couple different versions of each one that's farther forward and one that's farther back. And one that's moved up. So, we've also got the two default beacons, and you can put on a aerodynamic uh, fairing spoiler, which I'm going to do. I think it looks quite nice. Um, and then you've just got the uh, the side mirror as well. For wheels, just com uh, I see I have the Michelin DLC here, uh, and then this Continental. These Continental tires also come with it, so we'll use the those and then it has its own set of wheels but is compatible with all these if you want them um does not have its own thing there but you do have its custom hubs and its custom nuts so that's what that looks like and so we'll go ahead and use those continental tires again with the uh volvo rims see we'll keep the uh the hubs and stuff same looks very nice. Uh, moving into the interior, you can change out the steering wheels, thank god, but they are both very ugly. Um, so, yeah. And there is compatibility for the um, DLC toys uh, DLC, but I do not have that patch installed right now. So we're actually, I'm gonna actually going to go back and switch to the exclusive interior so that I can have the GPS when we do our drive. And we will go with the exclusive thing as well. I think that this color scheme is awful, but I mean, it's Volvo, not really the mod. So, so this spec of truck, this is probably the highest spec you can get. Comes out to be 204,000. We'll trade in the Iveco that I've been rolling in for this truck. And give it a second. We're here in uh, Luxembourg. Now the only other mods I'm running right now are the uh, Traffic Pack by Jazzy Cat, Trailers and Cargo by Jazzy Cat, the City Lighting Mod by Sissel, or no, that's by Grimes, 
and then the uh, better traffic lights mod by Sissel. Those are all available in the Steam Workshop, except for those Jazzy Cat mods, which can be found on pretty much any mod website. They're some of the most common mods in the game. So, this mod actually, it's very demanding on the system, which is something I really was not expecting at all. Um... So, the uh, author notes that the advanced trailer hitch has problems with certain trailers. I'm not going to use that. Um, this does contain templates in the archive that you download so you can skin up this truck. You can see it's actually got a realistic steering radius, which is pretty cool. Um, so, he also does put that it this only works, this mod only is compatible with the 1.27 update of ETS2, uh, but I don't see any reason why somebody wouldn't be on that update if excuse me I actually have to put my shifter up but um so it does say it does contain the activation mod for the dlc toys it is not compatible with the um it does not have the uh flags dlc though so, the exterior it's about 8 30 in the morning Let's start it up those are the high beams those are the low beams and there's the uh daytime. So, just to look around, you can see we've got two air horns on the side, which are not functional. Please. Um, we hear the regular horn. Okay. So that's what the engine sounds like. I think it actually shares its sound with a DAF, the horn at least. And you can see the interior is very similar to the FH-16 Classic. Although we are lower to the ground. So, we've got those nice big gauges, which I really like from the FH-16 Classic. So, I'm going to grab a trailer, and we'll do the shortest load that's available here in Luxembourg. Um, see, right in that green zone is where you're going to get the most torque out of any of the engines. So, so try to find a nice trailer just sort by distance it's still a long load darn um all right so we're just gonna bobtail out to just go to Metz and I'll leave you off there um so we're just gonna drive it to Metz real quick um I'll see how it handles at low and mid speeds and whatnot um this does say, also noted, is that um, that there's three different exhaust pipe options, which I actually didn't see when I was configuring my truck. And it is compatible with different wheel mods, tire mods, you know, different skins that you can download for this truck. And it's a very small mod, too, at 37 megabytes. It's one of the smallest truck mods I've seen. I think it's because it uses a lot of the same parts as the Volvo trucks that are already in game so this mod this model has been the 3d model although it is by au44 uh mj tem dark has gone ahead and um edited the model he's redone the chassis he's added an independent interior he's redone all of the animations he's fixed collisions added the compatibility for the advanced trailer hookup he's fixed some error stuff uh separated the tires they used to have just one combined tire, so it wasn't compatible with the uh, the in-game tires. Uh, he custom made all of the wheel stuff that you saw, um, and he did add those 460 and 500 horsepower uh, engines that you saw, and the removal spoiler was all added by this guy and updated to 1.27. So I'll leave uh, both links, both the primary download and the mirror link, in the description below. And if my game would decide to finally load, we could. Uh, take it on a drive um let's give it a second um also this mod this mod's pretty old at least the mod that this is derived from has been around for a very long time um there's other versions of an fm as well that you can download um on different euro truck mod websites i found this mod on ets2.lt that's my primary mod website of of choice um and this it, this mod does take a really long time to load i said that already 
But, um... Yeah. And I'll leave those links in the description for when you can, uh, can download the mod. So, wow, this is taking a very long time. I'll see if there's anything else I can do. Um, and as you saw those bull bars, they're compatible with all of the, uh, the default, um, sort of DLC toys and such, so... Let's finally get this on the road. I am writing a slight sweet FX mod as well for graphics. Um, I do really enjoy, I think that it's a very nice touch having the realistic turning circle for a short right there. I don't really care. And it's 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 a very light truck, so it, it gets up to speed very quick. Um, yeah, and this is just the default driving position. I haven't played with any of that. Like, brakes are good. Um, parking brake. You can see the parking brake is actually animated. Um, this is actually an automatic truck, according to shifter, where the shifter would be. But, I'm not driving it automatic, because those are too slow for me. See, the mirrors look pretty realistic. There's no real zooming problems that you would see with some other mods. And it, it shifts pretty nicely. I'm using the realistic gearbox uh, setting. And it, it shifts very nicely. And these sounds sound very good. I have noticed that the fuel needle... Um, down the bottom right of the gauge cluster is not functional. You can see it's way above the F. So. Oopsies. Um. My lag, I, my game almost never lags even when I'm recording like this. This mod is pretty demanding, so if you have a lower end system, you might want to consider turning down your graphics settings for this mod, if you're inclined to use it. So if we open up the GPS here, we're only in 11th and we're already going over 130. So this truck is almost unrealistically fast, which is not, not really a good thing, um, as you can see. I don't think the, the real FM being even a lower end Volvo truck would get above 145 under any circumstance. So I guess the physics aren't exactly uh, desirable. Again, the turning radius, it steers like the uh, the regular FH16. It does not steer like a, like the smaller truck that it is, which is really irritating. So you've seen I've, I've clipped things twice because I'm turning it like it's a smaller truck. And I'm not even turning it very much, so either there's an, an, a tremendous amount of understeer, or it's just stolen physics from the FH-16, hence why it's also able to go almost 160, which is very ridiculous. Let's see, we can scroll through and see the different menus if I scroll through them. I mean, it doesn't steer badly, and oh my goodness, um, but... It's just not, the physics aren't to be desired. The clutch is fine, but the clutch is actually way too responsive. Like, I can, this is like half clutch, and I can almost shift. I can push it in, and it's not shifting, you don't have to push in the clutch. You only have to go to the biting point in order for it to shift, which is not realistic at all. And the sounds are just taken from, not even a Volvo truck, from a DAF. And again, we're having this, this amount of lag, which is pretty unprecedented. You can see there's almost no body roll, which is, again, unrealistic. So, I mean, we're going to pull over here. So, in short, this mod looks really good, and it has a lot of nice customization features and stuff. But the, um, the physics are lacking, and I guess, like, there's just some small things with the mod that are just unrealistic. Like how those air horns on the side don't work. 
you know, there's this black piece of the fairing isn't supposed to be there. And, like, the chrome is really way too reflective. But, like, overall it's a good mod, and I'd, I'd recommend you download it just to sort of play around with it and see if you like it. And that fifth wheel isn't supposed to be chrome either. And I didn't buy this in Great Britain. I bought it in uh, Luxembourg. So anyway, thank you for watching. If you like this video, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you like, let me know what you dislike. Um, and you can download, download this mod in the description below. Thank you for watching and good day.